This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Thanks, EA. Hi guys, my name is Gina Jemskal and welcome to a walkthrough of the Ice Castle Seasonal Quest rerun. Now this quest has been out before but it's going to be re-released in the Refined Romance update which is due to come out on the 29th of January. So this Ice Castle Seasonal Quest, it's a 12 day event and it is going to start on the 27th of February through to the 10th of March and it, like I say it's a 12 day event, you'll have 12 days to complete this event if you have already started it when it has been out before you will just continue where you left off last time you won't have to start it all over again here's the quest overview it's the secret winter wonderland quest the grand prize is this gingerbread house template and you can see along the top the prizes that you're going to win as you go through the quest it is all of the icy furniture that I know a lot of people haven't got and when they see it in other people's houses they're like oh where did you get the icy furniture from well, this is where you can get it from, the Secret Winter Wonderland quest that you can take part in from the 27th of February to the 10th of March. There are lots of other events in this update and they will be linked down below in the description, so check the description out for more information on the Refined Romance update. But let's get started with the Secret Winter Wonderland quest. First thing we need to do, call a sim, Christmas has arrived. It's been and gone, right? Christmas has arrived. This year, the Sims are planning a Christmas lights contest to see who has the best display in Simtown. Your Sims are getting excited and want to discuss which lights to use. Call a Sim on the phone to discuss Christmas lights. So as it's Christmassy themed, we're gonna do it in this Christmassy house in the farmhouse that we had in the Christmas quest, the holiday quest this year. Or last year, I should say now. And here we go, let's click on a phone and discuss Christmas lights is 48 seconds. Task completed. Now buy a reindeer light. After discussing the Christmas lights, your sim decides to buy new ones to get an advantage over the competition. A fantastic reindeer light is now in stock at the home store. Buy the reindeer light from the outdoor decoration section of the home store, then place them at your sim's home. So outdoor decorations tab. Where's that? Outdoor decorations and ooh, a glowing reindeer. Let's place one down there. Oh, we just need to place one down. Okay, there we go. Completed. Turn up brightness of reindeer light. This reindeer light is going to look magnificent when it's made brighter. Have your sim make the reindeer light brighter. So if we come out, click on and turn up the brightness is 30 seconds. I love these little lights. There we go. Task complete. Check the hum in the refrigerator. Crack! The light shut off instantly. Perhaps your sim overloaded the circuit. A strange hum can be heard from a nearby fridge. Have a sim check the hum in a refrigerator. It could be a power issue. So let's go to the fridge. And this is only a one star. That's okay, we'll do it. Check hum is eight seconds on a one star fridge. Oh, and it's taken us. I just love this ice castle so much, right? Check the hum. Done. Oh! Check the refrigerator again. Did you see it flash to the ice castle? Oh, wow. Your sim was sucked into the refrigerator and saw a magnificent palace made entirely of ice. Perhaps it's still there. Have a sim check the refrigerator again. So let's click on... We've come over to a different house. I'm not sure why, but okay. Check again is 3 hours and 40 minutes. Oh, I can't wait to go over to the ice palace. I absolutely... If you've not seen it before... Oh, I mean, I know you got a glimpse then, but wow. It's amazing. Task done. Have a deep sleep. Your sim searches high and low for the palace in the fridge, but finds nothing except milk and leftovers. Maybe they were hallucinating. Your sim shivers. It suddenly feels drafty in the house. Perhaps they should lie down for a while. Have a sim take a deep sleep. So let's click on the bed. Deep sleep is six hours and 30 minutes. Oh, congratulations. You've completed the first set of goals in the secret winter wonderland quest and have received ice-themed walls, floors and roofs for your sims homes find them in the home store so we've completed those now we move on to the next part investigate the snow your sim woke to an incredible sight it's snowing outside it was snowing outside in my real life this morning it was amazing it was so beautiful just to be sure have a sim investigate the snow x marks the smart the smart the spot Let's go and X marks the spot. Investigate snow for a minute. 
completed. Now have two Sims in the same house. It's not a dream. The crisp cold air chills your Sims nose and they grin. There really is snow. How exciting. Call a second Sim over to enjoy the snow. Just whistle them over. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen now of what it looks like outside my bedroom window right now, because it's beautiful. But back to the Sims free play, that's completed. Now we need to have a snowball fight. Now that two Sims are here in the snow, they have a hankering for a snowball fight. It would be a terrible shame to waste such a magnificent snowfall. With a Sim selected, tap on another Sim to snowball fight. Okay, so, and snowball fight, 15 minutes. Oh, look at that. She must be cold, put a t-shirt on. <laughs> All done, now investigate the shadow. Huh? What was that? Your sim can't be sure, but they think they saw a strange shadow moving around over the road. Have a sim investigate the shadow. Your sim can get a good view from that X. Let's go over to the X and investigate shadow. One hour, 15 minutes. Now, say hello to the sprite. I love these little guys. Yikes. When your sim went to investigate the shadow, a strange little creature popped up behind them and scared the shadow away. Your sim are nervous, but are ready to introduce themselves. So have a sim say hello to the creature. Look how adorable. Let's say hello. Say hello for 10 minutes. Ask Sprite what's happening. The creature is pleased to meet your sim. It says it's a snow sprite and that it comes from a faraway place. It might be the ice palace your sim saw, saw before in the refrigerator. Ask the snow sprite what's going on. Where's he gone? What's happening? Two hours and 15 minutes. Place icy wallpaper. The snow sprite said the portal opened when the reindeer light overloaded the circuit. Your sims feel responsible and offer to help set things right. The snow sprite will help but needs a place to feel at home. Buy any icy wallpaper from the wall section. So, in the wall section, we these are the three that we unlocked. So we get to have a little look at one of them. Let's go for blue chill. I like that one. We'll place that down. Completed. Place icy flooring. Wonderful. The snow sprite loves the room so far, but what it really needs is an icy floor. Change the floor of the room. So into the floor section. And we've got three floors. They kind of match with the walls, I feel. Let's place this ice mosaic down. That's free to do. Now check for the portal. Great. As the story continues, more icy furnishings will become available in the home store to make the snow sprite room more hospitable. Be sure to keep adding to it. It's time to head to the ice palace. Have a sim go to the refrigerator and check for the portal. Ooh, okay. So, let's go to the fridge and check for portal. Two hours, 40 minutes. Set fridge to coldest. Inside the fridge, the portal is still nowhere to be found, but the snow sprite knows how to activate it. Have a sim set the refrigerator temperature to coldest. Set to coldest is seven hours. And there we go, after that, congratulations. Your generous bid to assist the snow sprite has gotten you a set of ice-themed dining tables and chairs for your sim's homes. Find them in the home store. That's the second part done. Now, check for portal. Enough time has passed. The fridge must be cold enough by now to activate the portal to the ice palace. Have a sim check a fridge for the portal again. Click on the fridge and check for portal is seven seconds. Oh, look at that. <gasps> you got sucked into the portal. Oh, and over we go. Wow, to the ice palace. Take it all in. Wow, the ice palace is real. The soft, warm light on the ice gives off a magical feeling. Your sim needs a moment to adjust to all of this. Tap on the Frost Blaster 5000 and have a sim. Take it all in. Look at this. I mean, it's just magnificent. It's the best build, in my opinion, that the Sims Free Play have ever, ever done. It's amazing. Uh, let's just take it all in for five minutes. We have taken it all in. Now examine the Ice Palace archway. The snow sprites appreciate your sim's fascination with the Ice Palace. It is incredible, but they're getting impatient. They brought your sims here to meet the Ice Queen and she's just through that archway. Have a sim examine the archway. Let's go over. Examine for 45 minutes so she's through the other side here. We can see her. 
Ask Sprite about pickaxe. Oh dear, the archway is covered by a solid sheet of ice. It seems the snow sprites had an accident with their snow generator and frost over the archway by mistake and froze over the archway by mistake. Their pickaxe would get through the ice, but they can't find it. <gasps> we need to ask them, so let's click. And where is the pickaxe? One hour and 15 minutes. What have you done with it? Now find the pickaxe. The snow sprite said the pickaxe must be here in the palace. If you look hard enough, you'll be sure to see it. Find the pickaxe in the scene and tap it. Don't forget to rotate and zoom in the camera while you're looking. Note, if you can't find it, ask a snow sprite to think hard. They'll remember where it is eventually. So you can click on the snow sprite and think hard for 4 hours 30. Or, if you'd like to know, keep watching. And I'll show you where it is, just to, if you look at the portal kind of this way on, from the Snow Queen way, over here, here is the pickaxe hanging over there, found it for one minute, much quicker than the four hours that you'll need to speak to the snow sprite. Now, chip away at the archway ice. There's the, there's, blah, I'm getting excited. There's the pickaxe. <laughs> now that your sim has it, chip away at the ice in front of the archway at the ice palace. So, where is it? Over here, click and chip away ice, three hours, 15 minutes. Meet the ice queen, success. The archway is cleared. Now take a deep breath, a few deep breaths because it's time to meet the queen. Have a sim head through the archway and introduce themselves to the ice queen. Here she is. Introduce self for one minute. We see the ice queen. She pops up in quests every now and again. I think at the holiday time. She was in the last one, wasn't she, this year? Now receive antifreeze spell. The ice queen said that her son, Jack Frost, has escaped through the portal and into Simtown. That's who the shadow was and why it was getting so cold. She needs to get him home before he causes any more mischief. Your sims can help, but they are about to catch a cold. Have a sim receive a special antifreeze spell from the Ice Queen. So receive antifreeze is 4 hours and 15 minutes. Go home and deep sleep. The sim has imbued your sims with a special icy immunity. However, it will take some time to take effect. Have your sim enjoy a deep sleep while the magic settles. So you can you can go home by clicking on the portal. Use portal, I think you can just use a sim tracker to go home as well. This is more magical, let's go through the portal. Here we go, once we're at home, click on a bed and deep sleep, six hours, 30 minutes. And congratulations, while your sims adjust to their newfound cold resistance, decorate their homes with this set of ice themed doors and windows, find them in the home store. That's the third day, the third part completed. You can see there, day three done. We've got all of these days to keep going. Now, talk to the Ice Queen. Your sim is feeling warmer than before, so the magic spell to protect them from the cold must have worked. Have your sim head to the Ice Palace and talk to the Queen. We get there via any fridge. Click on a fridge and travel to the Ice Palace. It's so cool. Look how the floor just opens up. And we're over at the Ice Palace. Click on the sim talk to for a minute. Now try the door to Jack's room. The Ice Queen says the first thing to do is to find Jack. But in order to do that, your sim needs an ice wand that he keeps in his room. The wand will be drawn to Jack when he's nearby. Have a sim try to open the door to Jack's room. So it's in, it's in this tower over here. This is Jack's room. Click on it and open door takes five minutes. Ask about Jack's room. Hmm, Jack's bedroom door is locked with some kind of special magic seal. The snow sprites seem to know something about it. Have a sim, ask the snow sprites. Okay, so how do we get into Jack's room? One hour and 15 minutes. I wonder if they'll help us. Now, look at the bridge. The snow sprites say the only way to open Jack's door is to get his best friend, the snowman, to open up the seal. The snowman lives in the Christmas tree forest which is just across from Jack's room. Have a sim look at the bridge leading to the forest. So over here, here's the forest. Click on the cross, look at the bridge. It's two hours and 15 minutes because yeah, there's a bit of a problem 
with that bridge, isn't there? Although we probably could make so that you probably could make that jump, but you know, who would want to try and make that jump? Look at what would happen if you didn't make it. No. <laughs> Ask Sprite about Snow Belt. The bridge to the Christmas tree forest is gone. The snow sprites can make a new one by using the snow generator, but it's still malfunctioning. It needs a new snow belt. A snow belt? Have a sim ask the snow sprites what a snow, a snow belt is. And that's three hours and 35 minutes. We've asked sprites about the snow belt. Now find the snow belt in the park. The snow sprites took a long time to get the words out, but finally revealed that a snow belt is a part for the snow generator. They lost it in the sim town and wonder if your sim would mind finding it. Have a sim look for the snow belt in the park. If you can't find it, ask a snow sprite where it is. They'll remember eventually. So you can click on a sprite for two hours and 30 minutes. But let's head over to the park. So over at the park and the snow belt need to come look. <laughs> it's some tinsel over by the thinking man. Click on the thinking man and here it is for one minute. Look at him. I love that. I love that the snow belt is some tinsel. Now give the snow sprites the belt. Well spotted. The snow belt is very odd, but it should do the job nicely. Have a sim give the snow belt to the snow sprites. They're waiting at the palace. So you can use a fridge or if you just click on a snow sprite in the sim tracker, it will take you over to the palace and then you can whistle over your sim, click on the snow sprite and give belt is one hour 15. Now use the snow generator. Success, the generator is working and the snow sprites are already using it to make the bridge. Have a sim help the snow sprite to get it finished faster. Tap on the snow generator at the ice palace and choose join in. So I love this thing. Join in is four hours and 55 minutes. Check them out, making the snow. Now test the bridge. Well done. The bridge to the Christmas tree forest has been built. It looks great, but your sim should test it for safety first. Have a sim test the ice bridge gently now. So let's test it. I would not be the one testing that. Test for seven hours and 15 minutes. Be careful. <laughs> I'm creeping across. And that is done. Congratulations. Because you've created such an incredible ice bridge, you've been rewarded with ice themed coffee table and bookcase for your Sims homes. Wonderful. That's that part done. On to the next part, part five. So now we're playing for some icicle sofas. Now look for the snowman. The bridge to the Christmas tree forest is safe to cross and your Sims are anxious to do so. Have a Sim cross the bridge at the ice palace and look for a snowman. So let's cross the bridge and look for the snowman. Takes two minutes. Now ask sprites about the snowman. Hmm, the snowman is nowhere to be found. Have a sim ask the snow sprite where he is. Click on a snow sprite. Where is the snowman? One hour and 15 minutes. Roll a ball of snow at the ice palace. The sprites say the snowman is nowhere to be found because he needs to be built first. Does that mean it's time to build a snowman? Have a sim roll a ball of snow in the Christmas tree forest. Back over and roll a ball for two hours and 15 minutes. Roll a small ball of snow. Your sim made a fantastic snowman body. Now they need to make the head. Have a sim roll a smaller ball for his head. So let's click again. A small ball is four hours, 15 minutes. Choose a snowman nose. The snowman is looking magnificent so far, but he still needs a nose, a scarf and a hat. What kind of nose would suit him? The snow sprites have prepared a few options. Talk to the snow sprite in the Christmas tree forest to select a suitable nose from the options provided. Choose whichever one you'd like. So we can have whatever we'd like. Let's click on a sprite. We can go with a tomato, a banana or a carrot. I feel like a carrots. I mean, let's go tomato. Place the nose on the snowman. Fantastic choice. That nose will look great on the snowman. Have a sim go to the snowman at the ice palace and put his new nose on. So let's click on the snowman and place nose. Wow, 10 hours and 15 minutes to place that tomato on. Done. Turn on a fire pit. That's a perfect nose. It has been getting colder and colder in Simtown. Jack Frost must be working overtime. Have a sim turn on a fire pit at a sim's house. 
and we will place a fire pit because we have not got one there in the outdoor decorations tab. There we go, fire pit. Place one just there and click on it and turn it on. There we go. Knit a scarf on a couch. The snowman has a nose now, but he still needs a scarf. There aren't any around, but one of your craftier sims is in the mood to try to make one. Tap on a couch and choose a coloured scarf to knit. Pick whichever colour you'd like. Oh, congratulations. Okay, congratulations. Your great work of building the snowman has earned you a set of ice-themed sofas for your sims' homes. Find them in the home store. Wonderful. So we need to click on the sofa. Let's click on the sofa and we can choose from a green scarf, a purple scarf or a red scarf. Let's go green. They're all 12 minutes, all knitted. Now travel to the ice palace. The scarf looks brilliant. Your sim is quite a skilled knitter. Have a sim return to the ice palace with it. Let's click on the fridge, travel to the ice palace. Put the scarf on the snowman. Your sim is incredibly excited at the thought of putting the scarf on the snowman. They are really proud of their work. Don't make them wait. So let's put, let's go over to the snowman and put on scarf is 45 minutes. All done. Look under a bed for a hat. The scarf looks even better on the snowman than your sim, than your sim imagined. There is still one thing missing, a hat. Your sim thinks that they know where they left some though. Have a sim look for a hat under a bed. Oh, look at him, he's looking good. So let's click on the bed and look for the hat takes an hour. Choose a hat for the snowman. Your sim was right, there's a hat under the bed that's perfect for the snowman. But not just one, there's three. A cowboy hat, a top hat and a beanie. Oh, we can choose which one. So let's click on the bed again and you can either grab the cowboy, the top hat or the beanie. Let's go... Ooh, should we go beanie? Let's go beanie. 45 seconds. Done. Now put the snowman's hat on. The hat is going to look amazing on the snowman. Have a sim head to the ice palace. So let's just click on a snow sprite rather than going through the fridge just for speed. It's quicker to do it this way. Click on the snowman and put the hat on and that's going to take one minute. All done. Say hello to the snowman. The snowman is finally built. He looks great, but can he talk? There's only one way to find out. Let's say hello to him. He does look great. Say hello. Three hours, 15 minutes. Speak to the ice queen. The snowman remains stoic and unresponsive. Something must be missing. Perhaps the ice queen knows what's wrong. Have a sim speak to her. So she will be over here. Speak to for four hours and 15 minutes. Dance for the snowman. The ice queen said that the sprites need to do a special dance for the snowman to wake him up. Ha and your sim can join in too. Have a sim dance. Oh, okay. I'm looking forward to seeing this little dance. Dance for is eight hours and 15 minutes. Here's the little dance. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, the sprites are coming to join in. And that's completed. The snowman will be so happy with the scarf and hat you've chosen. You've received a set of ice-themed bathroom items for your Sims homes as a reward. Moving on. So that's 50% through. We're halfway through the quest now. Next part, say hello to the snowman. Your Sims enjoyed the magic dance to wake up the snowman, but did it work? Have a sim try to say hello to the snowman at the ice palace. So now we are playing for these kitchen bench tops. So let's, oh, let's go over to the snowman, click on him and hello for one minute. Ask the snowman where Jack's key is. As your sims ask the snowman to say something, his eyes turn and he starts to move. All on his own, the spell worked. Ask the snowman where Jack's room key is. Where's Jack's key? That takes two minutes. Build up the snowman's confidence. The snowman says opening Jack's room requires confidence. He needs your sim to tell him three reasons why he can open the door. He says, I'm made of snow and snow is soft and weak. I can't open the door. Have a sim tell the snowman he can because... You can because your spirit is strength for 10 minutes. There we go. Build up the snowman's confidence. That is done. Build up the snowman's confidence. 
Again, great answer. The snowman is starting to feel better, but still needs more confidence. The snowman now says, I can't open the door because I look so round and silly. Tell him that he can because you'd even look good nude. Should we say that? One hour 15. We've done it again. Build up the snowman's confidence. Another great response. Just one more boost of confidence and the snowman will open the door. The snowman says, I can't open the door because I can't betray my only friend. Have a sim tell the snowman he can because... Never mind, I'm just nosy. Agreed, don't open it. Jack needs our help. Jack needs our help. Two hours, 15 minutes. Completed. Now we get to tap Jack's room door. As the snowman's confidence grows, the door to Jack's room shimmers. It should open now. So let's head over and tap for one second. He's slowly making his way over. Give it a bit of a tap. Oh, and in we go. Find Jack's wand. At last, your sim has managed to open the door to Jack's room. Jack must have left an ice wand in there somewhere. Have a sim search the room to find that wand. It could be in any of the things here. So search everything. So to search for something under the bed, three hours and 20 minutes. It is not there. So if you click on something there where it isn't, you will get this pop up. Search under the icy bed table, four hours 15. It's not there. Let's try in the wardrobe, four hours 15 minutes. Oh, and there we go. It was in the wardrobe. So you can just go straight ahead and click on the wardrobe. You don't have to click on the bed and the bedside table. Just click on the wardrobe straight away to find Jack's wand. Now show snow globe to the ice queen. Success, your sim found the ice wand, but also a snow globe. Inside the snow globe is Sim Town and it's frozen solid. Is Jack Frost planning to freeze the whole town? The queen needs to see this. Have a sim show the globe to the ice queen. Head over to her and show snow globe is 11 hours and 15 minutes. What a long time. And there we go. Congratulations. You've discovered Jack Frost's plan and received a set of ice-themed kitchen bench tops for your Sims homes. Task completed. Now we're going to start playing for the fridge, the icy fridge. Form a plan with the Queen. The vision of a frozen Sim town in Jack's snow globe has deeply concerned the ice queen. Have a sim go to the ice palace and form a plan with the ice queen. So we're already over here. If you're not already over here, you need to use a fridge to come over here. Form a plan. Two minutes. Now go to a sim's home. The queen said if Jack is trying to free Sim Town, then he'll try from a safe hiding place. His wand can still find him, but it will need some of Jack's magic frost to strengthen its reach. Send a sim home and the sprites will follow. We are at home now. Now collect tree frost. The frost your sim is looking for can't melt. It's a special kind of frost that Jack makes and according to the sprites, it usually settles in trees. <gasps> Oh, so if you don't see any frosty trees, plant a tree at a snowy home and the frost will settle immediately. So, is it? It's working on the Christmas tree. Okay, collect frost for 30 minutes from the Christmas tree. I'm not sure how that's worked. Here we go. Collect tree frost. Now rinse magic frost in a sink. The magic frost tingles on your sim's fingers, but it's still covered in a lot of normal frost. Have a sim rinse the magic frost in a sink. It can't melt, so rinsing it will just clean it off. That was magic that that's happened on an inside Christmas tree. <laughs> Rinse magic frost 12 minutes in a sink. Now take frost to the ice queen. Fantastic, the magic frost is sparkling clean. Have a sim take the frost to the queen at the ice palace. So let's click on a fridge and travel to the ice palace. Now we're over here, click on the ice queen. Give frost two hours, 15 minutes. Now watch the Christmas forest lights. With gratitude, the Ice Queen takes the frost and begins a magic chant. This will take a while, so have a sim watch the Christmas lights in the Christmas tree forest at the Ice Palace whilst they wait. So she's doing her little special thing over there, and let's go over here to watch the lights. Six hours and 16 minutes. I do love it over here. Task complete. Now speak with the Ice Queen. 
The Christmas tree lights were so pretty, but the ice queen has finished preparing the wand. Now your sims can find out where Jack Frost is hiding. Let's go over to the ice queen. Speak with for 10 hours and 15 minutes. And congratulations for delivering the magic frost to the ice queen. You've received an ice themed fridge for your sims homes. Now moving on to the next part, we're going to get a stove and a fire pit. We need to recruit a snow sprite. The ice queen says that the wand is ready. Your sims can't go looking for Jack Frost alone though. They're going to need some help. Have a sim recruit a snow sprite. So click on one. He's trying to run away there. Four minutes. You can come with me little sprite. Now reassure a snow sprite. The snow sprites are nervous. What if they can't stand up to Jack Frost? Have a sim reassure them by finishing this sentence. You'll stand up to Jack because... You're bigger than him, you're much smarter, you love ice cream, you are much smarter than Jack. Don't worry about it. Now we need to go to the park. That's true, the snow sprite says. After your sim's wonderful encouragement, the snow sprites are ready to help. Have a sim go to the park in sim town and the snow sprites will follow. So click on the map and it'll take you out to sim town. And then onto the park. Over at the park into Sim Tracker, and we'll whistle someone over. Now we need to find Jack in the park. As soon as your Sim enters the park, the wand begins to pulse. Jack Frost must be nearby, but where? Have a Sim use the ice wand on the different things in the park to figure out where he is. So we need to click on some different things. Use ice wand, one hour, eight minutes. Is he on this bench? The wand barely changes colour. Jack must be far away from this area, so he's not over there. Let's, what about the toilets? Use ice wand, one hour, 15. Oh, the wand shines a little. Jack is not far away. Let's try the thinking man and see what it says over at the thinking man. Ah, there we go. He's at the thinking man. He wasn't near the toilet at all. So just click on the thinking man for one hour at 15 and that is where Jack is. Now get encouraged by snow sprites. The wand glows brightly. Jack Frost is inside the park statue. Your sim is getting nervous. Have a sim talk to a snow sprite for some encouragement. Click on a snow sprite. Get encouraged. Two hours, 15. Now, tap the park statue with the wand. The snow sprites encouraged with your sim by telling them they can do it. You believed in us and we believe in you, they chant. So let's click on the statue. Tap statue with wand for three seconds. There he goes. And oh, there's Jack. Jack's appeared. Plead with Jack. As soon as the wand touches the statue, Jack Frost bursts forth. Don't come any closer, he warns. Uh oh. Let's plead with him. Plead for 45 minutes. Ask Snow Sprites for a distraction. Jack refuses to stop freezing Sim Town. Perhaps if Jack was distracted, then your Sim could sneak up on him. Then they could apprehend him and stop this cold. So let's ask the Snow Sprites. Distract for four hours, 15, please. All done. Now sneak up on Jack. The snow sprites are performing a very distracting dance in the park. Quick, whilst Jack Frost is distracted, have a sim sneak up on him. <gasps> oh yeah, look, he's dancing away. Sneak up, two hours and 15. Ha ha. Oh, look at this. He's turned the sprites into ice. <gasps> oh no. Build a fire to defrost the snow sprites. Well, that didn't go as planned. Jack realised they were up to something and froze the snow sprites solid. Focusing his gaze on your sim, Jack laughs and says, nice try, then vanishes. Have a sim build a fire. Okay, so X marks the spot. Defrost them for 9 hours and 15 minutes. Oh, the poor things. Look at them. There's the fire and congratulations, you completed the ninth set of goals in the Secret Winter Wonderland quest and received an ice themed stove for your Sims homes. Wonderful, now we are playing for ice themed dresses for our houses. We are 75% through. Check on the snow sprites. The snow sprites are finally thawed. They look all right considering they were frozen solid, but your Sims should check just in case. Have a Sim check on a snow sprite to see if they're truly all right. Are you okay? <laughs> For two minutes. Snow sprites are a little dazed from being frozen, but they're okay. 
Luckily, snow sprites are good with the cold. Have a sim go back to the ice palace and the snow sprites will follow. So go home to a refrigerator and travel to ice palace, seven seconds. Speak to the ice queen. Your sims need to report back to the ice queen so she can come up with a plan of action. So let's click on her. Tell her what happened for two hours and 15 minutes. The ice queen wants to act immediately, but the ice palace is melting without Jack being there. This will need to be fixed first. Have a sim help maintain the cold by using the snow machine. Oh no. Use the snow machine four hours and 15. This can't melt. It's beautiful. Disaster. Great job. The snow sprites will hold the fort for a while to keep things cold here. In the meantime, things are getting a little too cold in Simtown. So back over at home, and if we go into the outdoor decorations, we have, oh, we can see the fire and ice. Can we get, let's get this icy one that we won. Does that work? That doesn't work. Oh, what a shame. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy that that one doesn't work. Let's. Okay, outdoor decorations, a fire pit. There we go, task complete. Why doesn't the icy one work? Turn on the fire pit. Wonderful, the fire pit won't do any good until it's lit though. So let's click on and turn it on. Now return to the ice palace. Great, your sims shiver in the cold, but at least the fires are helping. Perhaps the snowman has some good ideas on how to stop Jack. So let's go back to the fridge and travel to Ice Palace. Over at the Ice Palace, now speak to the Ice Queen. <gasps> the Ice Palace has warmed up so much that the snowman has melted. Oh no, and it's nothing more than a puddle. Oh, he's gone. That's so sad. Uh, speak with. Six hours and 15 minutes. The ice queen is feeling particularly weak and needs as much coal as possible to build up her strength. Have a sim ask the snow sprites to gather around her to boost her powers. Your sim will help with encouragement. So click on a snow sprite, help the queen. Nine hours and 15 minutes. Look at them running along to help. We're coming queen. Don't worry, we're coming to help. And there's our sim, just like, yes, come on snow sprites. Oh, oh look. And congratulations, you've really helped the ice queen to regain her strength and received a set of ice themed dresses for your sim's home as a reward. Now we need, what are we going for now? We're going for bedroom furnishings. We are 84% done. The snow sprites have been calling the ice queen down for a while and her strength may have returned. Have a sim check on her at the ice palace to see how she's doing. So click on her and check for one minute. She looks okay, she looks happy. Great news, the Ice Queen is much stronger. Given the dire consequences that inaction may bring, she has resolved to travel to Simtown to bring her son back herself. Have a sim head to Simtown Park and the Ice Queen will follow over at the park and whistle over our sim. As your sim enters the park, they see Jack Frost in plain sight. He's thrown caution to the wind and he's accelerating the freezing of Simtown. The sound of the whirlwind around him is deafening. We need to call out to... Oh, look at him. Call out, hey, Jack, for 10 minutes. The ice queen calls out to Jack as well. Son, stop this at once. But her words fall on deaf ears. Jack can't hear through his tornado. The only way to stop him is to break through it. The ice queen has an idea. Have a sim listen to her plan. That takes 30 minutes. The ice queen says that she can disable Jack's tornado with her own magic. Just say the word and she'll begin building up her power. Have a sim ask the ice queen to fire away. Fire away for 10 minutes. Do we need to stand back? Oh, yes. We definitely need to stand back for this ice fight, whatever this is. <laughs> the Ice Queen's strong magic blast was aimed perfectly, but it didn't penetrate the whirlwind. It needed more energy. She asks your sim to stand in position and build power. They can stop Jack if they work together. So X marks the spot. Build power with the queen, two hours and 15 minutes. Ooh, check it out. We did it, I think. 
Now, boom! Together with your sim, the ice queen fires a blast of magic at the tornado that destroys it. Shocked, Jack looks at her. Mom, he says, then turns to your sim. My mum can't be here. Have a sim ask Jack what he is doing. What are you doing? Four hours and fifteen minutes. Jack looks disappointed and begins to explain. He was freezing Simtown for his mother's birthday. Oh, so she could visit safely, but he failed. Have a sim tell the ice queen about Jack. All along we thought Jack was evil. Tell Jack's story six hours and fifteen. But he was doing something so nice for his mum. The ice queen is touched and approaches her son. You didn't fail, she says, and kisses his forehead. It's still cold enough to enjoy Simtown together. Aw, have a sim admire this special moment between the two of them. Click on them and admire the moment, 8 hours and 15 minutes. Bless, that's so sweet. He's clapping. <laughs> and congratulations, you reunited the Ice Queen and Jack, but the fun's not over yet. You've received a set of ice-themed bedroom furnishings for your sim's homes. Now, 93% done. Last thing that we're going for now is the gingerbread house. So, let's continue. Go to the ice palace. The ice queen, Jack, and the snow sprites have returned to the ice palace. Your sim remembers the ice queen mentioning a surprise. Have a sim go there now. And there we go, we're at the ice palace now. The ice palace is silent and not a creature is stirring. Has something bad happened? Have a sim investigate. Investigate, one hour and 15 minutes. What's happening? Party. Oh, surprise. The ice queen and snow sprites and Jack suddenly appear. They've organised a huge surprise party in your sim's honour. And look, the snowman's back. Oh, that's nice. Tap on the ice queen to enjoy the party. Party, two hours, 16. It says to bring other people over. Let's bring everyone over. Come and join us. All the sims. Come and party. Everyone can party. Party's over. Now we've got to thank the ice queen. What a fantastic party. Your sim shared a wonderful time with the ice queen and discovered that Jack Frost is a lot more caring than they first thought. Have a sim thank the ice queen. So let's click on it. And thanks for everything. Eight hours and 15 minutes. Hug the ice queen goodbye. Don't thank us, they say. Your help brought us closer together. It's been great spending time with them, but it's time to say goodbye since things are back to normal. Have a sim hug the ice queen goodbye. Goodbye. 10 hours and 15 minutes. Leave the ice palace. We'll miss you, says the ice queen. But when you get back to Simtown, you'll find a little surprise waiting for you. Another surprise. What could it be? So we need to have all the sims. So click on them and send them all home. And there we go, we've left the Ice Palace and congratulations, you've saved the Ice Palace and reunited Jack Frost with his mother, the Ice Queen. As a token of their appreciation, they have left your Sims with a full-size gingerbread house. Build it on any empty house lot. So we need to take a look at the prizes, right? Let's build a premium lot. The first one is free of the gingerbread houses. Let's build it. And this is what it looks like. So the only difference with building it on a premium lot is you just get some of these extra trees. I just love the gingerbread house. I love, just check, I just like, I don't know, the pavements around and the fence. It's pretty awesome. And then you get the house with the gingerbread themed items inside. Which I love. Right, we should check out all of the ice prizes. Let's put some of these away and we'll go through the home store and check out all of the ice themed prizes that we won. So should we just go into new items? Let's just go into new items and we'll place everything down. So as usual, we get one free of everything and then you can see how much they will cost once you've placed the free one down. So the icy bed stuff, the chest, wardrobe, there's lots of stuff. No melt oven. The, I, we've already placed the ice pit down, but we'll place one down there. The freezing fridge. And then we've got kitchen worktops here. Some drawers, some cupboards, a pantry. A corner unit. And then, yeah, I think these have got to go up against the wall, haven't they? 
that's fine. A corner. There we go. And sink, we'll go back up here with the sink. So just all the stuff for the kitchen. And then we've got toilet, a sink, and a bath. And then we've got an icy love seat. Love all of this stuff. I might build a frozen. I think I started building one. Do you remember? I lost my game save a while ago. My phone got stolen when I was traveling. And oh, these are doors. Right, hang on. There we go. In fact, let's build a room so we can place these doors and things. Yeah, I lost my game save a while ago. And on that game save, I'd started building an ice palace. And it was amazing but I no longer have it, which is a pain. Uh, let's see, what have we got? Jack's icy door. We've got double doors. Archway. Super frosty, are these windows? These are windows. I love that we can now do interior windows. There's so many. So many different styles that you can have. Then we've got an icy light, an icy floor lamp. That little one can go on tables as well. And then we've got the chair and the table. Ice roof. I won't place it down because we'll lose the gingerbread one there. But we've got two different icy roofs. And then the floor tiles. And then, oh, there's for oh, the castle walls are for the outside. Look at them. They're cool. And then these ones. Look how amazing all of this stuff is. I mean, it doesn't look right with the gingerbread, <laughs> gingerbread theme around, but. It is fantastic. I've seen some amazing ice um, ice castles like over on Facebook groups and things. There we go. You can now you can now build your own if you have won all of this stuff. So there you go. That is the end of this quest. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you soon. Bye.